Hey guys, this is Nilan from the BCIS and this is yet another uh, webcast episode that we bring you. We apologize about the fact that we've not brought you any interviews for a while, but uh, hopefully this will save your, your hunger for a, good, for a good interview. I have a very special guest today, Mr. Praveen Abhiratna, who is uh, an expert in I say, security, environmental studies. What do you say your expertise is? I would say uh, anti-national warfare and uh, uh, strategic security because uh, my background is in a very varied, uh, varied fields. Mm -hmm. So I was just going to come to that because Praveen has very interesting uh, credentials as well. So could you please tell our viewers and our students or uh, just give them a brief glimpse of what you've been up to over the last decade or so? Sure. Uh, first of all, thank you very much and good to be here and uh, uh, sharing some of my knowledge with the students. Um, first degree is actually in national relations and uh, also economics. And my second is in uh, national policy studies to focus on security, conflict resolution uh, specifically, and non-proliferation studies. So from there, I uh, worked at a very uh, active think tank called the uh, uh, Center for Non-Proliferation Studies, where we looked at weapons of mass destruction as a whole, but the unit I worked in focused on chemical and biological weapons used by um, non-state actors, so mainly terrorist groups. And while I was there, I managed the WMB terrorism database and we did a lot of um, in-depth studies of uh, terrorist groups uh, in the post-9-11 era. But since then, I have uh, consulted and worked in the private sector, uh, consulted for the government sector, worked in the private sector, as well as the development sector. And right now, um, I've been teaching for uh, 10 years in a 10 department university which is based in California, so it's an online teaching environment and uh, professor of counterterrorism and intelligence uh, uh, studies in the programs there. Um, and in my free time, I volunteer uh, my time to advocate for sustainable development in Sri Lanka. And my research interest right now is focused mainly on environmental issues and how that national security as well as uh, strategic security. That's one of the things that I want to get at as well because at, at a first glance, sustainable development and uh, irregular warfare, unconventional warfare, often people won't really see the link between the two and it might seem like a strange uh, synergy of topics. But that's not really the case, uh, is it? Sustainable development is very much a part of security and irregular warfare. Very much so and uh, actually as we get more into um, the topic, uh, actually we were, I think we're talking today mainly to look at uh, the International Day for uh, preventing the exploitation of uh, environment in war and armed conflict too. So it was declared as a UN Day uh, in 2001 by the United Nations General Assembly. So yeah, but as we go into the topic, uh, it will show that there is a very close nexus between organized crime um, and terrorism that, and that's known. But um, as a result of that and conditions that are created, especially during warfare, you see that it has a very close relationship with the environment as well. But yeah, to answer your question directly, the way I see it is uh, big issues like, like um, uncontrolled resource extraction, uh, climate change, those are going to be catalysts for conflict, not just between non-state actors and states, but also between states. Um, actually, according to the UNEP, uh, United Nations Environment and Protection, um, Environment Program, 40% of conflicts in the past 60 years are related to natural resources and the environment. Wow, that's a significant amount. Yeah. And, and, and in terms of, let's say, categorizing the role that the environment plays in warfare, I mean, the, or, the, or the impact that warfare rather has on the environment, how, how, how would you categorize them? So I see it in, um, as three different things, uh, three different areas. One, uh, as it's, it's well known that it's a cause, as I just uh, mentioned, a, a cause of a conflict. So you can see competition for natural resources, I would say, is uh, one, one thing. The second thing, what we're looking at today, is um, the negative impact, direct impact, uh, as a result of warfare. And uh, third is environment being used as, uh, exploited as a tactic. So the degradation of the environment or the exploitation of the environment for warfare as a strategy or as a tactic. So uh, let me just thank uh, uh, Praveen for joining us today. I hope this was an 
Well, it was an interesting conversation for us. I hope it was an interesting experience for you too. If you're interested in this, guys, please contact us so that we can put you in touch with Praveen. As always, if you like our videos, please hit the like button and subscribe to your channel. This is Nilan from the BCIS and see you soon, guys.